you're hungover. Don't worry, I've been where you are. I might be where you are right now. Or maybe you're not. Maybe you just want a delicious, hearty, bone-sticking meal to feed your family. Either way, I've got both of you covered. If either of these scenarios is you, be sure to season that like button heavily. I present to you Bolognese. Now, when I used to work at a certain restaurant, everyone always knew who was out partying the night before because they would always come into work and order this recipe right here. Now, here's what you're gonna need. One onion, finely diced. Two diced carrots. Two celery stalks, diced. Three to six cloves of garlic, if you're hungover. Go six. One pound or 450 grams of 8515 ground beef. I found that if you go with a higher fat content of ground beef, like 8020, the sauce gets a little bit too greasy, so I prefer 8515. And I really do prefer the flavor of grass fed ground beef over grain fed, particularly when it comes to ground beef, okay? A half a pound or 225 grams of ground pork. One cup of red wine. I've tried all sorts of red wines, and my favorite for this sauce is Cabernet a 28 ounce can of crushed tomatoes, or two 14 ounce cans, two tablespoons or 30 grams of tomato paste, one cup of heavy cream. You can also do milk, which is a little bit more on the classic side of things, but heavy cream is so much better. It will create so much more of a rich sauce, a rich texture, and it will create a euphoric flavor. You're gonna need salt and pepper, a pinch of nutmeg, two bay leaves, even though I don't really think that they do anything, but I use two because I don't think that one does anything at all. And to garnish, you're gonna want some fresh parsley or some fresh basil, but I prefer Pecorino Romano. And of course, you're gonna need one pound or 450 grams of your favorite pasta. I prefer rigatoni. The hollow centers of the rigatoni get filled up with the meaty deliciousness of the sauce and become little, little meat cannolis. They're so good. Now I've had this cast iron skillet for going on seven years now, and I love using it for this particular recipe. Let's start with three to four tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Get that heated up in your pan. Once your oil begins to shimmer, add in your sofrito, your onion, your diced carrot, and your celery. You can add your garlic here if you want. I prefer my bolognese sauce a little bit more garlic forward, so I wait until later to add it. At this point, add a nice pinch of salt and pepper. Stir it all up to coat everything nicely and cook these vegetables until they begin to soften, roughly four to six minutes. Now add in your beef and pork, break that up with your wooden spoon. As it cooks through and it browns up, it will become much easier to break up. So don't worry if you don't get it all broken up right in the very beginning. Once your meat is browned up, let's add that wine. Now, if you need a hair of the dog, feel free to grab a sip. Stir to combine and let that simmer for about two minutes. We want that sausage reduced just a little bit. Now go ahead and add that can of crushed tomatoes and that two tablespoons of tomato paste. Add those bay leaves that don't do anything. Oh boy. Now bring it all to a little simmer. Add in your heavy cream, that pinch of nutmeg, and stir until fully combined. Now, important, please taste your sauce at this point. We need to know if we need to, how we need to season it and how you prefer to season it. So taste it and then add a little bit of salt and pepper and then taste it again. And keep on tasting it, it's, it's okay. That meat is cooked at this point. Now, the easy part. You're gonna let this simmer for approximately two hours. And you know what you're gonna do for these next two hours? You're gonna wrap yourself up in a blanket, don't forget to take your liquids with you, and you're gonna watch a movie. If you wanna eat a $2 pizza, go for it. Have a $2 pizza at the same time. Once that movie is finished, hopefully it was a two hour movie, cook up your pasta of choice and then smother it with this creamy, meaty, savory, delicious, delicious sauce. And then I love to dust mine with Pecorino Romano cheese. You can do the same. You can also add your basil or your fresh parsley here too. Now I know that you're gonna love this dish, my friends. Then after you're done eating, just go to bed knowing that you're gonna wake up feeling like a beautiful, beautiful human being again. Unless you decide that you need to go back out on the town. In that case, then just rinse and repeat. Or maybe you're more of a creamy Alfredo fan. In that case, check out this super easy video and recipe right here, as well as linked in the description. As always, I appreciate you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.